Well, I'm always learning, always reading, um, and I love being a student. So I started a master's program, and I'm working with a cohort in Norfolk right now to be an administrator. And so I'm currently doing that and putting a lot of work and effort into that. But I find that all the things I'm learning, um, it just amazes me how much I don't know. <laughs> and I'm learning so, ma so many new things that I can apply to not only in my classroom, but to working with people on my grade level who you know, ask for help or suggestions. And, and um, I can finally say, oh, I know, I know what I'm talking about. I can tell you. <laughs> so that's helped me grow a lot. Some teachers had asked for some help with behavior management and different instructional strategies. And um, so I learned different ways to learn the adult learning, their styles of learning, rather than the kids. So I was able to present it in a way where this teacher um, absorbed it and said, OK, I understand what you're talking about. Whereas in the past, when other people have helped her, she's felt kind of defensive and, and like they were criticizing what she was doing. So. I feel like I was able to find a way to go past her defenses and kind of um, talk to her on a level that she didn't find threatening. There's so many standards that we have to cover, but there's a hundred different ways you can cover them. And so I try to be really flexible with my kids. Um, I'm not afraid to change my lesson plans on the spur of a moment, and I listen to what they're interested in. It's the best way to get them hooked in is, is their interest, and then I can take it further to what I need to cover.